All right, there are three types of fractions that are a little unusual, so I'd like to get into these three different types of unusual fractions. The first one is going to be any non-zero number over itself. So if you have a non-zero number over itself, whether it's 5 over 5 or negative 2 over negative 2 or 2.8 over 2.8, if you have uh, these non-zero numbers over itself, they will always equal one. So all of these fractions equal one because anything over itself equals one, except for the, for the caveat zero over zero. Zero over zero gets a really weird and there's actually not a complete consensus as to what zero over zero means. So that's why when we talk about any number over itself, we're talking about any non-zero number over itself equals one. And why is that true? So let's say that we have four over four, that equals one. So let's say that we had a pizza that was split into four slices. Remember the denominator tells us how many slices there are in total. So here, there's four slices in total. The numerator tells us how many slices we choose. So if we choose one, two, three, four, well, look at that. We've chosen the entire pizza, the whole pizza, and one is a whole. So if I divided this into eight slices and I chose eight slices, I'd still choose one whole pizza. So now I just divided it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices, but I choose all eight slices, I still choose the same whole pizza. So that's why any non-zero number over itself will equal one whole, okay? Now, for the second weird kind of fraction is where you have zero over something that's non-zero, like zero over four, okay? Any number in the denominator except zero, if zero is in the numerator, this entire thing will be zero. So zero over four is zero. Zero over uh, 2.8 is zero. Zero over negative five is zero. Zero over any non-zero number, doesn't matter what that non-zero number is in the denominator, as long as zero is in the numerator, the entire fraction equals zero. So here's an explanation as to why that's the case. So let's say, let's stick with this. Let's say that here we have a pizza with four slices. That's what the denominator is telling us here, four slices. So there's a pizza just sitting on the counter and it's divided into four slices. How many do I choose? I choose zero slices in this case. That means I don't pick up any of the slices. I don't choose any of them. So that means how many slices of pizza are in my hand? Zero, okay? So that's why I didn't fill in any. So that means that no part of that pizza is chosen. So that means I have nothing in my hands. I have chosen nothing. So that's why it's zero. Likewise, if I had eight slices, Let's say I had eight slices. So it's the same pizza, except I just divide it into eight slices. But I choose to choose no slices. Let's say I don't want any slices. So how many slices are in my hand now? Still zero. So that's why zero out of any non-zero number is always going to be zero. Okay? All right. So that's that second <clears throat> weird kind of fraction. Now for the third weird fraction... That's if you have zero in the denominator. So whenever you have zero in the denominator, the fraction is gonna be undefined. Undefined. And it doesn't matter what's in the numerator. So it could be negative eight. It's still gonna be undefined. Uh, it could be, uh, I don't know, uh, 2.6 in the numerator. If the denominator here is zero, it's still undefined, okay? So what's the explanation as to why when zero is in the denominator, it's undefined? Well, remember, we cannot divide by zero, all right? So dividing by zero is something that is not allowed. And whenever we have a fraction, do you see that the numerator is being divided by the denominator? 
That's another way to interpret a fraction. So this fraction would be interpreted as four divided by zero. Since you cannot divide by zero, we call it undefined. Here, negative eight is being tried to be divided by zero, it can't do it. So we call it undefined. Here, 2.6 divided by zero, can't do it. You cannot divide by zero, so that's why we call it undefined. A sort of intuitive way as uh, to why that's true, why you can't divide by zero, the actual, the actual real answer has to deal with asymptotes and with limits, which you'll deal more with in high school. But to give an explanation that suffices now as to understand why we can't divide by zero, let's say again uh, that we have four over zero. What is this saying? Well, this is saying we are choosing four slices out of no pizzas. So there's no pizza here. So how could I possibly choose four slices or even one slice out of a pizza that doesn't even exist? So that's why this is nonsensical. And when there is a nonsensical um, answer or um, entity, we call that nonsensical entity undefined. So if you're trying to choose a number of parts out of something that doesn't even exist, it's just as nonsensical as dividing by zero. And whenever we come up with fractions that look like this with zero in the denominator, they are always undefined. All right, so that takes care of three fractions that um, are a little, little bit weird, but, uh, but fun nonetheless.